Hi, my name is Gary Stick JK, and I'm gonna talk a bit about uh, the Spiral Tone CHJ mix. Um, it's going to mostly unscripted, unedited. Um, just uh, so to give you a bit of a behind the scenes of uh, this remix. Now, originally, this wasn't my initial um, mix. I had another mix. Uh, made but I wasn't really satisfied. was closer to hip hop than uh, what is now uh, more of an EDM mi uh, mix. And the reason I switched from uh, the original to this version is because the original just sounded a bit too much like the original. And my intention wasn't to improve on the original, but rather to create something completely new with uh, the, so the song. Um, and that's why I actually work on this version. This version isn't necessarily better than the original. I think that it's good. It's one of the things I'm, I'm really proud of. Um, but I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's better. It's maybe it's, uh, some might think it's better. Some think it's less good than the original. Um, and that's okay. Um, this isn't supposed to uh, replace the original. This is just a remix. Well, yeah. And originally, I, of, of course, I went into this uh, project uh, because of the contest. But that's not the reason why I finished it. The main, uh, because... Even if I didn't make the deadline, I'd still finish this remix. I just wanted to make something, uh, something cool, um, something to challenge myself. And this is uh, the reason I worked on this remix. Now, as you can see, this is the channel rack. The channel rack has uh, a lot of uh, instruments. This is FL Studio, so um, yeah. <laughs> It's 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 uh it's bit fairly basic. It's 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 a bit messy. I'm not really uh something that organizes his instrument, and it's something I should do. Um, but yeah, that's uh, uh, me, and I could have uh, uh, ordered it, ordered it, and, and cleaned it up a bit before making this video. But I feel like that. Would, would kind of de defeat the purpose of showing uh, the behind the scenes of this project. Well, these are uh, the drums. Um, I, get, I give uh, instruments that belong to the same group uh, a similar color, uh, just like the pianos, the strings, um, ba bass. Uh, this is used for the melody and this is uh, the pads. Um, and the rest are samples. And some are automation clips for, for, uh, for, for automation. Um, the, the lowest two are for uh, uh, Z game uh, editor and for the, for, for the plugin, uh, for the visualizer. Uh, so those aren't, aren't really that important. I can show you why I use them, but it's, it's not as, as important. Now I use two different drum kits uh, of uh, kicks. Uh, kicks. Uh, the, they're both both based on the dance kick, uh, but I did some small tweaks to make them sound more full. 
So this is kick two, and this is kick nine. You can also hear it in uh, in uh, the song itself. There are two different kicks I use. Uh, the same basically basically goes for the snare. Uh, this snare I use mostly during during the, the the song itself, and this is specifically for uh, for for one of the risers for the right yeah. So um, and I, of course this is the uh, the, the hat. Uh, okay, to be honest, I could have used uh, more variation with the hats. Um, but I also didn't want to um, to make this, uh, the the song sound too busy, so I decided on just one hat, and then we have two crash uh, um, two crashes. Uh, so yeah, that, that's basically the drum kit. I can uh, show you the, the different uh, yeah patterns. So this is this basic uh, drum and this is also pretty basic it's, it's all pretty basic and to be honest I used this uh, this pattern to mostly to uh, well how to say it um, I mostly uh, I mostly use this as, as a sort of cheat I in in the um, in the, I, I can show you in the playlist, but to be short, uh, I, I uh, split up this uh, pattern in smaller pieces so that I only have one pattern for different variations. And you can also see it in the metal, melody, uh, or not really melody, but the piano melody part. And well, you can as you can see, I have several drums, uh, drum patterns, but this one is mostly used to chop up this pattern into small pieces. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, as you might see later in in the in the playlist, uh, I ended up not using this pattern, uh, mostly because I replaced it with other things. Uh, well, uh, so here here are the pianos. Uh, you have this piano. Uh, this one has a lot of echo. Uh, sounds a little bit more hollow. Um, and this one is more clear. Uh, both serve different purposes. This is mostly for the for the uh, the softer uh, bits. And this is the other is more for, uh, yeah, um, the more faster paced parts. Um, and as you can see, I use uh, Spitfire Fire Audio, uh, Miss, Mrs. Mills piano. Uh, it, it, uh, in my opinion, it's it's a good piano, but there might be others that are better. Uh, but I really like this one. Uh, and this is uh, the Epic Strings. Um, honestly, I don't remember why I have two different kinds, but I believe it's because one uh, um, instrument is for uh, for when I wanted to, uh, it to sound a bit uh, softer, and the other is for when I wanted to make it sound louder. Um, and this is the main reason why I always say. Uh, that this remix cost me 30 bucks because I specifically purchased the this this plugin for for this remix and I almost ended up not using this one because um, yeah it, it, it didn't it, it I didn't fi find any good use for it other than as a replacement for pads but I still used uh, this uh, saw sawer for uh, as pads and uh, it's, it's basically just the fg vintage vocal i don't think i changed anything of it uh for uh yeah i don't i don't think i, I changed any of these these uh these settings um this is a, a flex uh, instrument uh, under tension uh sense uh, i don't know what it says but 
since Gemini Magnificence. Um, it's one of the free uh, packs for uh, Flex. And it sounds, yeah, it sounds like this. This is used for the melody to basically replicate what uh, Rika sings during the chorus. Um, and then we have the bass. Uh, I believe I this this one isn't free, but I could be mistaken. Now, um, it might be free, but. I'm not sure. It's uh, I I did pr uh, pay for one of these uh, packs I have here, but I'm I forgot which one I paid for. So it might be this one. Um, so let's go to uh, the playlist. Uh, this is the playlist. I usually start by adding a lot of uh, yeah empty space. Uh, this is usually used to set up the initial initial automation um, it's it's not really uh, necessary to do this but um, yeah I, I think it's nice to 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 set the initial settings for for everything in in, in this part I don't know if others do do it the same or if others just just start here uh, what I do think is better than, than what I did now is uh, add a bit of silence before I uh, before starting the song. Um, this allows you to, to start, this, uh, for example, start the vocals earlier than um, than um, the instruments themselves. Uh, and, and it's basically also how uh, the original spiral tones begins. Uh, it begins with uh, a small bit of silence. Um, to allow for the instruments to have a bit of a lead up, it's uh, I don't know if, it, if it's a proper way of saying it. Um, anyway, uh, these are the, uh, the drum sections, the pad, the bass. The bass is mo mostly just for the chorus because the bass is kind of uh, busy. So let's uh, see, do it here. Yeah, so th this is the this is a bass, and I believe there are only three different bass uh, uh, patterns. Originally, I I had a different uh, bass. It was a bit simpler than this, but I I, I wanted to add a bit of sw a swing to it. And you can hear that it stops abruptly here, but if I play it from here... It, uh, it does uh, work uh, to abruptly stop this uh, bass. And um, yeah, originally I did add a bit of uh, a single notes to, to, to make it... Uh, not end abruptly, but it, it didn't sound as right. I did add, add the uh, the note at the end, so let's. let's... So that's basically uh, the bass. It's it's not really uh, that special. Uh, the pads are really subtle. Like, How would you rate this? Add it to your playlist. Got something to say, but only when your face face this. The, the pads were mostly used to compl to add something to uh, Calliope's uh, voices, uh, voice line, so, so so it doesn't sound too empty. Um, and here, um, it's also used during uh, uh, the first uh, chorus. <laughs> It's really subtle, so you don't really hear it. So if I disable it, you wouldn't probably wouldn't hear the difference. You can hear the difference, but it's really subtle, and I actually like that bit of subtle subtleness. So yeah, it's why I added these pads at this 
point as well. Um, so the pads are really important for uh, a mix. Uh, I, I I found out. Um, it, it's it's a suggestion my brother gave me. Um, um, he suggested to, to listen to uh, a, a talk about how a certain song was produced. I forgot which song, but um, yeah, this, the pads are really important. It, it it adds atmosphere. It adds depth. It adds uh, flavor to uh, to your song. It's, it's basically the MSG of uh, of your of, of your music. Um, your music will sound good without pads, but it it will sound a lot better with pads. Um, okay, what else? Um, oh well, uh, these are the piano bits. Um, for the pianos, I started with just uh, the chords. And um, and then I added uh, the melody as uh, as as a bit of a something to add a bit of a vari uh, variation. So basically, there's only one um, melody pattern. So uh, and and the same melody will be used throughout this uh, uh, remix. So here you can see um, I use a variation of it. And I'll be very honest in the, here. Um, the reason I only used one pattern was bec uh, mostly because uh, um, I was lazy and uh well it, it's not only because i'm lazy but it's 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 uh, you don't want to add too much to a mix especially if it's a remix of, of a song if you add too much melody it the melody becomes too important and the most important is the vocals in my opinion um that's what makes this remix a remix you want something recognizable and if that Thing that's recognizable is uh, overpowered by something else like uh, a melody that has too much variation you're gonna, gonna focus on that melody mostly So this is basically the piano part and it, it, it continues throughout the entire track. Now the melody part, um, <coughs> so um, the melody part is one of the, those parts that has automation. Uh, the main reason I use automation is actually to adjust it uh, according to the voices. If, uh, if it's uh, if the melody is too loud, I'll lower the the volume. So uh, basically, I mostly only use the melody somewhere in the beginning, uh, after the first chorus, and during the last chorus. So uh, let's hear. So, so uh, yeah. The melody isn't really that special, and if 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 we look at uh, the channel uh, channel uh, rack, uh, melody one, it's basically this. So um, let's do pattern. So it doesn't really sound great if, I, if if you play the pattern itself, and this is one of those parts where I use the same cheat I, I originally used for the drums. Um, I split this pattern in, in smaller parts, and uh, it's mostly out of laziness and 
because each time I make new pattern, I have to adjust the name and <laughs> in this case, I just have to change the name uh, once. Uh, but in, in the end, I did make a second uh, melody pattern for this part. So this is a, a, a really subtle part on to to uh, um, actually make uh, without this uh, this second um, melody part this uh, this uh, stairway down um, I don't know how you, how you call it um, it would have sounded too ab abrupt the ending so if I uh, enable everything now you can you can't really hear this. Uh, this, uh, so it's it's really something subtle to to add and to make it blend in better and to to end this melody track a little bit better uh, because originally I, I I didn't add it I didn't add these two last two notes. So yeah, and now we have the strings. The strings are pretty easy to do. Uh, it's, 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 it's an easy track, it's just, uh, yeah, the strings, uh, so. Yeah, it's, uh, I didn't use the strings too often because uh, strings can overpower the entire melody uh, if used incorrectly. And especially in those quiet moments, you wanted to keep it small. Um, most of this, uh, um, most of this uh, remix was uh, inspired by. Uh, uh, a song from Armin van Buren. Van Buren. It's it's basically a Dutch song um, called "Who It um, I really like that song. I, I know a lot of Dutch people don't like the song, but that's mostly because they don't like Dutch music. Uh, I I love Netherpop, so I really love that song. And it's a great uh, it's, it's a great EDM song. Um, um, So this is, if I'm correct, this is the this is the second uh, strings instrument I used here to make it uh, give it a more clear sound, uh, less muted in comparison to uh, strings uh, the other other string. So basically, this this is uh, these are all the instruments I used. So. Uh, for the rest, I had uh, I have the vocal tracks, uh, uh, Clypey and uh, Rika, and um, well, that, these are basically uh, simple, uh, simple, uh, simple tracks. So, but, um, there's something I wanted to, to let you to to, to show. You. <laughs> So, uh, you might not notice it, but this cut isn't really clean. Um, the original uh, sound uh, files, the original vocal tracks, were pre-mixed. So, uh, they had all the uh, effects uh, on them. So, let's to listen. And, and that caused a, a bit of a problem in this part. So let's listen. So, did you hear that? It, it, it stopped abruptly and um, normally this would have been a problem but because uh, the instruments uh, basically covered up this uh, th it, uh, yeah, uh, the instruments covered this abrupt cut so that you wouldn't hear it, hear it. so um, that's why I did this small bit of a pause and it, it really added a lot 
to the song. Originally, I didn't have this pause, uh, and this bit was a bit longer. It was uh, a bit, I believe it was uh, one pattern longer, so. Uh, so yeah that's a, that's a small thing I, I I added I also used some some stock uh, stock risers uh, th these are just uh, from uh, Apple studio these are were in packs and I believe uh, risers um, I, I believe one was um, this one. Yeah, noise metal, and the other was there, there were two. Uh, oh yeah, jet bike. So I used one the short short part of the uh, the the uh, noise metal here. Um, I also used uh, added uh, an effect to add some uh, reverb. I can show it later. And this, so um, and then if, if if I unmute everything, it sounds like this. It's it's really subtle. So, uh, but when uh, when I use the full sample, it sounds like this. Uh, so th this is basically uh, how I use this, um, and yeah, that's that's basically the the risers and FX uh, track. Uh, oh yeah, th th this is the uh, uh, an earthquake FX. <laughs> Uh, and here's the symbol crash. Uh, the symbol crash I use twice. The uh, earthquake only once. So yeah, that, that's oh, wait yeah twice. Um, so that's that's the Ryzen sound effects. Now um, you might have noticed the Kali's recorder part, um, and you can hear it uh, at the end of Kali's second verse. So. Careful, no apologies, but your anxious creation is dangles down, malicious imminent, waiting for the movement, not just the beginning it. First try winging it, do you have an issue? Then it lists bringing this thing of bias reviews, yada, you don't say, but hey, guess what? Your old niggas done living with your eyes wide shut. So, um, this sound clip comes from one of uh, uh, her uh, streams uh, where she does super chat readings. This is a specific, specifically one where she said uh, uh she, she read a super chat that said my recorder uh, my friend does recorder better than you and she replied with effort uh, your friend and then she did this uh, recorder sound of course there's there's a lot of uh, reverb and and uh, added to it so uh, it it's not really subtle enough uh, i actually wanted to, to be to sound a bit more subtle but well, yeah, it's 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 done now. So yeah, uh, finally we have the two uh, CG uh, CG visualizer uh, automation tracks, um, and these are used for the uh, awesome automation uh, uh, tracks uh, uh, for uh, for the uh, visualizer. Uh, this is the uh, yeah. This is basically the visualizer. Um, let's see, can, can I, uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, let's, uh, let's start at the beginning. In the beginning, you see, uh, you see, you see my, uh, my name and, uh, um, the tr name of the track and, and, and all the, that the stuff. And slowly the, this part begins to fade out. And then another, uh, and then this fades in. Well, actually, it doesn't fade in. Uh -huh. uh, what I did was I added a second background layer to uh, 
to it that fades out so that uh, everything uh, everything underneath it uh, appears as if it's fading in so yeah that's basically uh, what this does but it's not really that important so um, so one thing I learned was that drum tracks when adding drum tracks you should uh, so this is a stereo separation uh, knob and for uh, drum tracks you, sh you should mostly do uh, set them as, as a mono track so the stereo separation should be 100% merged um, and for the for the other instruments I basically just um, did some uh, uh, did, did some stereo separation to varying degrees, uh, depending on how what sounded better, uh, the vocals I uh, I both change uh, change it to uh, to this uh, to, to the vocals track so that I could uh, set the separation for both. Plus, I could uh, set a maximus to yeah to I I'm not sure why I did this. I would guess it's to. Uh, well, to to increase the the volume uh, or something, I, I I don't remember what, why I did added this. Uh, it's been long, yeah. But I also used this vocals uh, track to sidechain to uh, various other uh, inst uh, uh, mixing tracks. Uh, this is mostly to. Um, use the fruity limiter. The fruity limiter allows me to uh, basically make the vocals sound louder by uh, lowering, uh, yeah, basically lowering, technically lowering the volume of the of these tracks. I don't know if that's exactly what happens with, uh, with the limiter, but uh, it works. And uh, you have to be careful with that because if you set the uh, effect too high it you run the risk of uh, making it sound really choppy so uh, in the end I also used a bit of uh, automation to for example uh, lower the volume volume of the melody track so in, in, in this place uh, I believe I did also also removed uh, the limiter from the melody track but I'm not really sure so uh, yeah originally this also had a limiter but it didn't really work out with uh, the vocals and uh, yeah I, I got rid of it so uh, well that's basically my uh, remix this is uh, basically how I did it and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you also learned something from it. Uh, and if you didn't, then uh, I still hope you enjoyed it. So, yeah.